What is weaving mechanism? The conversion of warp sheet into fabric by interlacing with weft yarn requires the basic operations to be carried out on loom in a specific order. It involves the primary motions, secondary motions, and the stop motions. The primary loom motions include the following three operations. It the separation of the warp sheet into two layers to form a tunnel known as the shed. Picking is insertion of weft yarn across the warp sheet width through the shed. Beat up is pushing the newly inserted length of weft to the fell of cloth. These operations occur in a given sequence and their precise timing in relation to one another is of extreme importance. The secondary motions facilitate the weaving of fabric in a continuous way. These include Let off This motion provides warp sheet to the weaving area at the required rate and under constant tension by unwinding it from weaver's beam. Take up motion draws fabric from the weaving area at a uniform rate to produce the required pick spacing and wind it onto a roller. These motions are used in the interest of quality and productivity by stopping the loom immediately in case of some problem. The warp stop motion will stop the loom in case any warp yarn breaks, avoiding excessive damage to the warp threads. Similarly weft stop motion will come into action in the absence of weft yarn, and stop the loom. There are three most common types of shedding mechanisms, namely Tappet Dobby and Jacquard shedding Tappet and Dobby systems control healed frames while Jacquard provides control of individual warp yarn Tappet system is also termed as cam shedding The cam is an eccentric disc mounted on the bottom shaft rotating to lower or lift the healed frame. It is relatively simple and inexpensive system handling up to 14 healed frames. But this system has very limited design possibilities and pick repeat, producing simple It weaves. is a relatively complex shedding system and can control up to 30 healed frames. The pick repeat to Dobby system is provided by peg chain, punched papers, plastic pattern cards or computer programming, and is unlimited. This system offers more design possibilities as compared to tappet shedding. The jacquard shedding provides unlimited patterning possibilities. The working principle is relatively simple but involves more number of parts that make it a complex machine. Versatility of jacquard shedding is due to control over individual warp yarn. The jacquard shedding system can be either mechanical or electronic. Picking involves the insertion of the weft yarn through shed across the width of warp sheet. The picking mechanism is mainly a function of the picking media, used for the insertion of weft. The picking media vary greatly on the basis weft velocity and the insertion rate, and are classified into shuttle and shuttle-less picking. Shuttle picking is the oldest technique of weft insertion on loom. The picking media is a wooden shuttle that traverses back and forth across the loom width. A pern or quill having yarn wound on it is placed inside the shuttle. As the shuttle moves across, the yarn is unwound and placed in the shed. A picking stick on each side of loom helps to accelerate the shuttle by striking it. Shuttle travels on the race board, above lower portion of the warp sheet. The shuttle picking takes place from both the sides of loom. If you really find this video helpful and informative, like, share, subscribe, and press the bell button.